What is going on guys, Little Dog Duck here, and today I'm bringing you an up-to-date quest guide for the RuneScape 3 quest, Land of the Goblins. This is a couple quests before the Mighty Fall, the one where you unlock the Teleport to God Wars dungeon, which is why I'm doing it. So I figured I'd make a guide like I usually do. Uh, this is done at a 1 to 1 speed, which is why the video is so long, so you can just follow along on a second screen and you'll be able to do everything I do exactly as I do it, as nothing is sped up. So I'm going to cover all the requirements and everything you're going to need to be able to complete the quest, no problem first, and then we'll get into the actual quest. Alright, so let's start with quest requirements. Um, you're going to need to have completed another slice of ham, the giant dwarf, the dig site quest, and the fishing contest quest. Those quests all have their own prerequisite pre quests. Stumbled a little bit there. Um, but if you've completed those quests, then it's not going to be a problem and you'll be able to start this quest. Now, as for skill requirements, you're going to need to have 30 prayer, 36 agility, 36 fishing, 36 thieving, and 37 herb lore. As for what items you're going to need to be able to complete this quest, you're going to need a unfinished toad flax potion, so that's just a vial of water with the toad flax mixed in. You're going to need one piece of goblin mail. You're going to need one yellow, one blue, one orange, and one purple dye. You're going to need an empty vial. You're going to need one slimy eel, and you're going to need one light source. Now, as for what I'm going to recommend, is that you bring one set of combat equipment. If you're lower than level 60, you're going to want to bring a restore potion and around three food. Uh, there's a lot of inventory management in this quest if you bring too much stuff. So try to keep, you know, ten inventory spaces open. So only bring what you really think you're going to need. And to start this quest, you're going to want to go into the Dorgashun Mines. So you get there by going to the uh, Lumberge Castle, climbing down the trap door, and talking to a guy who's going to take you to the Dorgashun Mines. And here you're going to talk to Grubfoot. So squeeze through the hole. This is in the cellar. Uh, and talk to the guy here. He's got a weird name. So from here on out, he's uh, referred to as Guy. And click number one, Dorgashun Mines. This is going to take you right to the entrance, and this is where Grubfoot is going to be. So once you're here, talk to Grubfoot. He wants to get into the Dorgashun city, but he's not allowed because he's not a Dorgashun. And choose the first chat option, Chosen Commander, you mean Zanuck. So Grubfoot wants to get in to talk to Zanuck, but he's not allowed in. Um, click through the dialog and then choose the first chat option again. Mistag, why won't you let Grubfoot in the city? And then choose the third chat option, I'll take responsibility for Grubfoot. And this is going to bring up the quest dialog box for you to accept the quest. You're going to want to do that, unless you don't want to do that, if you change your mind. Alright, so now you're going to want to go to Oldax Teleportation Laboratory in the Dorgashun City. Um, make sure you don't have a, like a follower or a pet out, or else Grubfoot will not follow you. Um, but as long as he's following you, you're going to want to go into the city here and go to Oldax Laboratory to talk to Zanuck. So once you're in Old Axe Lab, click on Xanax to talk to him, to her. Click on Xanax to talk to her. And then choose the third chat option when it's available, so why have you come to talk to Xanax? Choose the third chat option once again, what was this new dream? And you're going to get a little cutscene in which Grubfoot talks about this city he saw, or this place, Ubiask, which he believes is the like goblin home village, sort of. Uh, where all the goblins go. Ask one Ubiask. Ubiask? Ubi it's probably Ubiask. And then choose the second chat option. How do you know your dream was true? Follow that up with the second chat option again. I think it must mean something. And then Grubfoot's going to talk about a temple that he has access to um, that you need to get some information from. So choose the first chat option. I promise not to tell anyone where the temple is. And then they'll talk about teleporting you there and tell them you're ready. Now this is going to teleport you to the Goblin Caves by the Fishing Guild. Once you're here, you're going to want to run northwest. Um, and where the door is on the northern side is where the temple is located. So you're going to want to run northwest, go towards that door. And 
once you're over there, approach the goblin guards. Now don't talk to him yet, you're going to want to pick up that black mushroom on the floor. Right click on that black mushroom when it's in your inventory and select the chat option grind. Now this is going to fill that vial up in your inventory with black dye and now you're going to want to talk to the goblin guards. See they're going to allow Zanuck in but they're not going to allow you in because you're not actually a goblin. So we need to figure out how to make you into a goblin. A good place to start is going to be the makeover mage. So if you have like a clan Vexillium to teleport here, it's going to be a lot faster. But if you don't, oh well. I just home teleported to Port Serum. You get to home teleport to Feldor too. It's a pretty close tie for like which one's closer. Um, if you wanted to take the agility shortcut, I suppose Feldor would be closer. But I just went to Port Serum because it's really not that much of a bother to walk. And for the Port Serum lodestone, you're going to want to go northwest. Once you make it to the building here, you're going to want to go inside and talk to the makeover mage. Click through the dialog, and then once you're presented with options, choose the fifth chat option, can you turn me into a goblin? Follow that up with the first chat option, I need to slip past some goblin guards. And then respond to her question with the first chat option, I promise not to tell anyone. Now your character is going to get some attitude here and say, can you turn me into a goblin or not? In which she tells you about a transmogrification potion she can make, but she's not sure if it'll work exactly as intended. Um, she's going to give you some berries for the potion, and you're just going to want to combine those berries with the Toad Flex potion in your inventory. This is going to make a three-dose goblin potion, and you're going to want to head back to the goblin caves north of Ardoin. So go into the cave and run northwest once again to get to the temple. Now you're going to need to unequip all of your armor and then drink the potion. You're not going to be allowed to drink the potion with any of your regular armor on. So make sure you have enough inventory space to unequip all your armor. You can see that I had to drop some stuff here because I didn't have enough room. And then once you've got everything unequipped, you're going to want to drink the potion. Now it's going to give you a couple options here to pick your appearance. I like number three because it has the hat. Click confirm when you got one you want, and then you're going to want to talk to the goblins. Choose the first chat option, me want get into temple. And then they're going to try and guess your name. So you can pick any name you want. Just say no until they pick one you like. I chose wart nails just because I didn't feel like clicking through the entire time. And then you can go into the temple. Now you're going to want to start by going to the north side of the temple and speaking to the high priest. When you talk to the high priest, you're going to want to choose the second chat option, where is Zanuck? She is a Dorgashun goblin, and he's going to tell you that she was arrested because she disagreed about, like, the gods and stuff. Um... So what you're going to want to do now is use that black mushroom ink on the goblin mail and put on the black goblin mail. Now talk to the guard to the northeast. 
and he's going to allow you to pass and get into their section here. Talk through the prison door so you can talk to Xanik. And choose the third chat option, how can I rescue you? Once she tells you, you're going to want to search the crate to the east. You're going to get a teleport orb and then talk to Xanik once again through the doors. Choose the first chat option, I have a teleport sphere. And Xanik is going to teleport out back to Oldak's lab. Now while you're here, you're going to want to go back and speak to the um, guard to get out of this little section here. Because you have to talk to the guard to get in and out. They're essentially a door. And then you're going to want to go back to the high priest. Now you're going to want to ask, um, can you tell me about Ubiask? And the high priest tells you that you can't unless you understand the ways of the big high war god. So say you do, and then say you're ready for the test. Now the answer to the first question is going to be true. And you're going to want to follow that up with the first chat option, the big high war god commands it. Now the answer to the second question is false, and you follow that up with the second chat option, goblins were not mighty warriors before he chose us. Now the third question answer is also false, and the reason being for that is the first chat option, that's one of the commandments. Lastly, he was going to lead goblins to victory over the world. Now choose the first chat option, can you tell me about Ubiask? And the second chat option, where is Ubiask? I was going to tell you he doesn't know, but the old high priests know a little bit, and you can talk to them by saying their names over their gravestones. But you got to get into that room first, which requires six keys from all the priests. So you're going to want to go back to the blackmail guard again, which was where Xanik was put into jail, and you're going to want to pickpocket the priest while you're in here. Once you've got the key from the priest in this room, you're going to want to exit the uh, room by talking to the guard and go to the Northwestern Tribe. Now you're going to want to take off your goblin mail and dye it yellow now to get into this um, tribe. Wear the yellow goblin mail and talk to the guard. Once you're in, you're going to want to pickpocket the priest in here. Once you get the key, you're going to want to talk to the guard to exit and move to the southwestern tribe. We have to skip the western tribe for now because we don't have the white die that comes at a later part in the quest. So talk to the guard and move to the southwestern guard. Now you're going to want to dye your goblin mail purple this time to get into this tribe. And once you've equipped it, you're going to want to talk to the guard and pickpocket the priest once again. There's going to be a pattern here until we have five keys and then we need to leave to get the white mail for the sixth key. So we're going to keep doing this, but I'll tell you which um, color to dye the mail. So now you're going to want to go to the southeastern guard in the temple. And this time you're going to want to dye your goblin male orange. Put it on, talk to the guard, and pickpocket the, the priest once again. Now you can actually just unequip your goblin male to get kicked out of these little quadrants here, which I found out now, which is really convenient. Um, so you're going to want to unequip that. Use your blue die on your orange goblin mail. Put on your blue goblin mail and talk to the guard on the eastern side. Now you're going to go in, pickpocket the priest, and you'll have five of the six keys that you need. Now you're going to talk to the guard here again and exit the temple the way you came in. Once 
Once you're out of the temple, you're going to want to equip any of your armor to leave goblin form. You can also just get into a fight that'll take you out of goblin form as well. And home teleport to Draenor Village. You're going to need to go to Aggie's shop here to get a die made. So talk to Aggie, choose a fifth chat option for more, and then follow that with the second chat option, can you make dyes for me? Choose the fourth chat option, can you make black or white dye? She tells you that black dye is easy, you just use a black mushroom, but we already know that. And for the white dye, you have to catch a white fish from Heminster. So there is no white dye, it's just able to remove the dye from crappy clothing such as goblin mail. So once she tells you that, you're going to want to choose the second chat option. I don't think I have any of the ingredients yet. And then you're going to want to home teleport to Ardoin to make it to the Heminster fishing place. This is where the fishing contest took place. So just home teleport there. Excuse me. So it's just north from the Ardoin Lodestone. And when you make it to Heminster, you're going to want to open the gate and tell Morris the third chat option, I need to catch a Heminster whitefish. Now uh, he tells you to go ahead and go in, so open the gate once again. And you're going to want to fish at the fishing spot where you won the fishing contest at. So right here, all you have to do is click on the fishing spot, it'll automatically use that eel in your inventory. If you don't have it, you won't be able to catch the whitefish. Make sure you have that eel. And then you're going to want to return to Aggie. Make sure you have that whitefish in your inventory. Talk to Aggie once again, choose the fifth chat option for more, follow that with the second chat option so for can you make dyes for me, and then choose the fourth chat option once again, what do you need to remove the dye from goblin mail? Choose the first chat option, okay, remove the dye from the goblin mail please, and now you're going to have that white goblin mail. So go back to Ardoin now because you're going to need to go back into the goblin caves. That lodestone lag is pretty bad. So enter the goblin caves here. Go back northwest. You might as well unequip all your armor on the way. That's what I did just while I was running. And then once you get back up to the uh, goblin temple, you're going to want to drink another dose of your goblin potion. Once you choose your appearance, you're going to want to enter the temple once again. Put on that white goblin mail and speak to the western guard. 
it's just the one we haven't done yet. It'll allow you to pass, and you're going to pickpocket the priest. Now you're going to have all six keys, and you'll be able to pass through the door to the north behind the high priest. So open the door. Um, a little cutscene, I guess you could call it, will take over where your character enters the crypt here. And once you're in, you're going to want to click on the fire to the southwest. So your character is going to say the name over the fire here. You want to put on all your combat equipment. You're going to leave goblin form anyway, so it doesn't matter. So just equip all your combat equipment because you have four more fights ahead of you. You might as well have it on. So the first one you fight is Snothead. Once you defeat Snothead, you're going to want to ask the first question, where is Ubiask? And follow that up with what was your predecessor's name? Now you're going to want to click the Southeastern Fire and choose the second chat option, Snail Feet. You're going to have to fight Snail Feet now too. Once you defeat Snail Feet, you're going to want to choose the first chat option, Where is Ubiask? And follow that up with what was your predecessor's name. So it's going to be all the same questions for the next two. And then the last guy is only a tad different. So click on the Northwestern Fire next. Choose the third chat option, Moss Chin. You're going to need to kill Moss Chin. Choose the first chat option, Where is Ubias? Follow that up with what was your predecessor's name. And now you're going to want to click on the Northeastern Fire. Choose the fourth chat option, Red Eyes. Now you're going to need to defeat Red Eyes. Once you've done that, choose the first chat option, Where is Ubiask? Each one has a little more information, that's why you're just working your way back in time. And then choose the next chat option, what was your predecessor's name? He's going to tell you Strongbones, who's the last goblin you have to talk to and fight. So now you're going to want to click on the Northern Fire. Choose the fifth chat option, Strongbones. Fight him. You don't have to kill the little things he spawns. You just need to focus on him. And choose the first chat option, where is Ubiask? Now he tells you it's actually a different plane. So, yeah. Um, and you don't have to ask him who his predecessor is because he doesn't have any there. So just say goodbye. Now you're going to want to exit the temple. When you leave the door here in human form, they're just going to kick you out. And you're going to want to return to Oldak's laboratory to see Zanuck and Oldak. So home, home teleport to Lumbridge. Go through the cook's kitchen. Climb down the trap door. Squeeze through the hole. And then you're going to want to follow the guy back to the Dorgashun Mines. Oh, 
open the door to go into Dorgashun. And then make your way back to Oldak. Once you're in the laboratory, you're going to want to talk to Zanuck. And your character explains to him that um, Ubiask is actually like a separate plane, and they put together that, hey, we were able to teleport there with the fairy ring that they found to the south um, in the, the caves. Um, so you're going to have to follow them there once they teleport out. And you can get there by running south and crossing these stairs here. So just run straight south. On the other side of the little river lake pond thing, um, you're going to climb those stairs. Climb down the opposite side. Run south east. And climb up the stairs there. Climb up the next set of stairs. And then to the west, there's going to be a ladder. You're going to want to climb down that ladder. And then run east down the first tunnel here. At the end of the tunnel, it's going to go south. And then right there where that little transportation symbol is on the minimap, you're going to find Oldak and Zanuck. So talk to both of them. I talked to Zanuck first. Zanuck tells you to go talk to Oldak. And he's going to tell you that he needs to power the machine to power the fairy ring. Um, but he needs your help to do that. So you're going to want to activate the machine. And in the first tube to the left, you're going to want to put nine. The middle tube, you're going to want to put four. And the next tube, you're going to want to put one. Once you've done that, hit configure. And if you've done it correctly, all three of you are going to be teleported to Ubiask. You're going to arrive, and it's pretty much a wasteland. Uh, and they, y'all discuss how it's nothing like Grubfoot described it, and it's uh, it looks like it's just been destroyed. Xanax says this is what a big high war god will get you. He just destroyed the place. And Old Axe, like, hey, the portal's going to break. We don't have much time. You should look around. So once that cutscene's over, you're going to want to run northwest, and you're going to find a strange box, like, on the western edge of the island here. Just ignore whatever Old Dak says. Open the strange box. And when you do so, you're going to get a cutscene. Where you and Zanuck open the box together, and Zanuck gets sucked in. Now your character is going to run back to Old Deck and get through the portal before it closes. And you wind back up in Old Deck's laboratory. So you're going to talk to Old Deck and tell him exactly what happened to Zanuck, how he basically got sucked into the portal. You ask how we're going to get him back. Old Deck says there's no way unless you know how to use the fairy rings, which, I mean, we do at some point. I don't know if you've done fairy tale as a part of this quest because it wasn't a prereq but once you're done with that discussion that's going to be quest complete if you enjoyed this video or it helped you please leave a like leave a comment down below i really appreciate it i love reading them uh if you want to join the friends chat at little dog dog 15 if you need any quest help or just want to talk uh, make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos and lastly thanks for watching i love you